This right here is what you call a candy paint. Southern Arizona fell in love with that. Angel brown, yeah, cute face, solid graduate. This is my fifth time recording. No, it's like my fourth time recording. <sighs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another vlog. Um, I am not an expert. Just gonna say, put that out there. I do have experience with like being formally trained in how to do certain exercises because I had seven years of squash experience. So for most of the things that he did, I actually already knew like how to do so that I wasn't hurting myself. And <coughs> first things first, I'm not an expert. Second thing, I'm not an expert. Third, At this point, I've said it three times already, so. Um, I do not think that this is great for beginners. So clearly, we're starting with the bad things. Um, the bad thing is really just that. I don't think this is particularly great for beginners because um, there are a lot of things in there that like I didn't know how to do and I had never seen before. But again, I'm not an expert, so um, that's fully possible. Um, so something that I would have liked to see is maybe separate video um, where he actually explains how to do some of the more difficult workouts or um, even a video where he gives alternative workouts for some of the more difficult ones um, so that you don't have to go out searching um, and you don't have to like go through all of these especially because he knows so much it's and it's really easy to find misinformation on the internet if you have it all in this one place because you have it from somebody that you trust from this person who knows what he what he is doing um then you're probably going to get better results uh that way if somebody is a beginner they don't feel so intimidated by the workout um, so that really was the only thing that I thought was like not good. <laughs> um, now we're getting on to the good parts. So um, in some of the videos, not all of them, he has diagrams of the parts of the body that the workout is um, targeting. And I think that that would have been great to have on all of the videos. Um, I don't know when he posted some of these videos in comparison to others. I'm assuming that they were at different points in time. So. I feel like if he like remade some of those videos to have the parts of the body that they're supposed to be targeting or if he ever does end up making like a explanatory video of the parts of like the workouts that he does um, if he in those videos explained or showed which parts of the body those specific workouts are targeting that is really really helpful information um i think the timing was like 30 seconds on 30 seconds off or not even there were 10 seconds on 10 seconds off videos and then there were also videos where you did like three workouts 30 seconds each and then 30 second rest so you had like a minute and a half to two minutes of working out and then a, and then half a minute rest and then you kept doing a minute minute and a half workout half minute rest I thought that that was actually really great. I thought that um, it was very time efficient and it got your blood pumping regardless of what kind of exercise you were doing. Like you were bound to sweat at some point because you were doing very small um, and sparsed out rest, rest. You had very sparsed out resting parts. So I thought that was really great. Um, the fact that you can work at your own pace I think is just a plus for home training in general because ooh, <laughs> because if you um, are intimidated about going to the gym then home training is very good because you know that you can work out at your own pace and you're not intimidated by the other people. Once you know um, alternative workouts it's really, it's really easy to replace them because he does um, give you a pop-up of like what's gonna come next and so once you see the exercise that you don't know what that like how to do that or you don't know how to do it properly you're like okay I have my alternative exercise in my brain 
I'm gonna do that instead when the time comes. I liked the fact that there were more rest days at the end of the program than there were in the beginning because I think that's more practical. Um, for me, at least, when I start working out, I work out every single day for the first like two weeks to a month when I start working out again because, and this is something I like learned recently when I started working out like, two years ago, um, is that if I do that, my body becomes addicted to the adrenaline and the other hormones that the endorphins and all of that that have that like come up when you work out. Um, I thought that was really clever. I hated it while it was happening, but I thought it was really like clever, intuitive, and practical. Um, I recommend watching his pre-watching his videos at two times speed so that you are familiar with the video itself and then when you're doing the actual workout, when it's time to do the actual workout, you're being more time efficient. Um, also, when you're watching at 2x speed, if you see something that you are unfamiliar with, that is a time where you should stop, slow it down to normal or half speed, really observe what he's doing and about to um, work out. That is when you should really just like practice um, or test out the workout before you do it full speed, but yeah, that is why I recommend doing it at 2x speed because then you'll actually end up saving time and be more efficient in the long run because you'll know where to replace exercises and what exercises come after what generally. Yeah, uh, if you, so if you look at the diet plan, I actually think that it is sufficient enough food. I love the fact that his program is, is um, divided by weight class, so if you are like in 50 kilo range you should be eating this much whereas if you're in the 90 kilo range you should be eating more which is like it's just it's so great to see somebody actually say that and actually put that out for the world and a tip I kind of have is to test the diet before working out test the diet without any act, like activity changes just to see if for you it is a filling diet or to adjust your body so that it becomes filling enough. So overall, I would say like if I was to score this, I'd give it like an 8 out of 10. Um, but yeah, the two points are definitely literally just coming from the one thing of I would have liked to see introductory videos. I did genuinely like overall enjoy this whole two-week challenge and I do recommend it um, genuinely speaking um, and if you guys want to see my videos please if you have suggestions of videos that you want me to make please leave them in the comments if you want to see more videos please click the subscribe subscribe button <laughs> and also please check me out on Instagram I have two Instagrams actually one is like my main Instagram that I use for YouTube and then the other one is um, kind of my more like wellness centered Instagram um, and I did document my entire journey uh, through this challenge on there so that'll actually be in one of the highlights or probably the only highlight that I have on that but uh, yeah I'll see you guys in my next video Bye. <laughs> She's a type to make you hesitate Tell her at a party, how you doing? What's your name?